Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Star Wars, Star Wars Cocktails. Let's just wait till our, uh, our live stream gets up and running. We're good to go. So, let me just turn my volume down. Welcome back to part two of Star Wars Cocktails. Yesterday we had some technical issues with the, uh, the music we played. The Empire took us down. But in true Star Wars style, as the Rebels, we're back. And we've got two same cocktails as yesterday, but we're actually throwing in a new one. So, yeah, this one's going to be, it's going to be a little bit shorter today. We're going to keep it nice and sweet. But I wanted to still film this, get it out to you guys, put it on YouTube, so we can have all our Star Wars cocktails. Probably, I said this again yesterday, people are thinking, oh, what's Samuel doing? Has he lost his mind? No, I haven't. What we're trying to do with these shows is bring a little bit of excitement to people, cheer people up during these times of isolation, because we know everyone's doing a little bit tough. So these are going to be, they're not mixology by any means. They're fun, colourful cocktails. And in Melbourne fashion, today's absolutely miserable. So we've made beach cocktails that you can drink all along. It's good to see so many people in already. Good to see Keegan, good to see Sona, good to see Shay, Oz Botanicals, good to see Mel, Sandra, and the Rose Fitzroy. Good to see everyone. That's probably enough of me talking. Let's get into our first drink. And there will be no shaking music today. We used the cantina music yesterday, but I might have to just sing along. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our Yoda cocktail. So we're going to get our, our nice brandy snifter. And once again today, we're going to be using some Midori, which is made by Suntory. So if you want to buy some of the Suntory fancy whiskey that you can't find, just go buy some Midori. It's made by the same people. But this one is a Midori illusion. So we're using some pineapple juice, some lemon juice, some triple sec, vodka, which is our McHenry Pure Vodka, named after the Point Pure location down in Port Arthur. So that's enough of me talking. Let's get to some drinks. So what we're going to do is actually fill our cocktail shaker up with some ice. I'm just going to scroll my comments down. Good to see Davos, Davros. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in 45 ml of pineapple juice, straight in, I've measured that out before. What we're gonna do is add 30 ml of lemon juice. And what I've been learning is actually add your cheapest ingredients into the shaker first, because if you do make a mistake, you're not wasting your alcohol. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna add in our Midori next, actually. So this is gonna be 60 ml, so two shots. So quite a lot of Midori. So Midori is a melon liqueur. Was made in Japan till the early 2000s, now manufactured worldwide. Ooh, I dropped that. Really great summer drink. It smells, once you smell it, you recognize it from all those nightclub drinks over the years. Now, I forgot to add this yesterday. We're using triple sec. I'm gonna use a little bit fancier today. So we're actually using, this is Solerno, so blood orange liqueur. And what we're gonna do is actually put in just 15 mil. So I'm just gonna measure this out in my big, so. 15 mil, perfect. And once again, 15 ml of vodka as well. So our vodka is a really good thing for cocktails because it's super clean, super crisp, and it's a great base for building on cocktails. Lovely. Add that in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this one. No music today. Unfortunately, it was a lot of fun yesterday, but we don't wanna have our, our video offline. So let's have a bit of a shake and I might have to sing along. You want to shake for about 12 seconds just to get it all nice and frosty. And done. Now, what we're going to do is pull that off. I'm just going to put that there. No need to double strain this one. Oh, look at this colour. It's even better than yesterday. Ah, perfect. And now I'm going to actually add the ice in now because I, I did dilute it a little bit yesterday and I didn't really like that. What... It's actually a great chance for me to sort of remake some of these cocktails. Now, you don't want to spill anything. That's the only problem. So, cool. And then, the best part of this drink is our little garnishes. So we're going to do our Yoda ears. Put these on. And that is our Yoda, Midori Illusion. Yoda lives in, in Dagobah, which is the swamp planet in the last couple of movies. And he's green and he's got a nice round head. Nice little ears. So this is our one, nice and simple. Previous weeks we've done some really cool, interesting cocktails, but these are just some classic cocktails from the past where nice and sweet, super funky, super fluoro, and that's what we want today. This is also quite a tasty drink, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a sip. Ah, yum, really yum. So I'm actually gonna put this in front of Darth Vader here. Good to see Martinez from Colombia, good to see Tom, good to see Suburban Social. 
got some good people in today. Hope everyone's well. Bit of an impromptu Monday session today, so yeah, we thought, let's just get this done. Now, we're gonna move on to our next drink. And I've got some brand new glassware in today, so we've got some highball glasses. So what we're actually gonna be doing is making, we're gonna make an Obi-Wan Kenobi, or a, a blue lagoon. So we're using blue curacao, vodka, and some lemonade. So nice and simple. Let me just fill my glass up with ice. Nice and simple. Basically, this is blue curacao, Midori, uh, blue curacao, vodka, and lemonade. 30 mils of each, so 30 and 30, and top that with your lemonade. So nice and simple, but it's gonna get us that really, really cool color that we're after. This is such a blue color, it's actually amazing. We did toss up using our butterfly gin, actually, but what we found was that because of the citric, when you add the citrus to it, it changes the color, and we wanted to keep it blue. So we didn't wanna add soda water in because it wouldn't have given us that lemon taste that we wanted. So keep it simple. Done. And then, basically, top that up. And this looks so much nicer today because we've got that beautiful blue gradient color change, so like a lightsaber. And that's why I've got our little shots here. They're just some made up ones. Pretty much just our base spirit, which is vodka, mixed in with some Chambord today we've got. Then we've got some blue curacao and Midori. So they're just some shots, but they're for that nice visual effect. Good to see Cam in as well. And then today what we're gonna do, is just a little bit of a lime wheel in there. So that's an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice and simple, nice blue thing. And yeah, that's it, let's have a bit of a taste. So yeah, nice short and sharp episode today. Once again, super, it's a really quite a sweet drink. Not too sweet. It's what you would drink on a beach, in a nightclub. But what we're going for today is that beautiful blue color. And because we're using a good quality vodka as our base, you're gonna get some really, it's gonna build that cocktail beautifully. It's actually really nice, I'm quite enjoying this. So we're gonna put that there. Good to see you, Tim, hope you're well. Now, yesterday we made a bit of a Negroni with some triple sec. Today we've actually changed it up, we're gonna be making a different cocktail. So today we're gonna to be making a French martini. So we've substituted in our vermouth and our triple sec for that drink and our Campari. And today we're actually gonna be using Chambord. So Chambord is a black raspberry liqueur from the Loire Valley. And it's actually a really interesting drink. It's the sh bottle shapes actually the Globus Crucinger, which is the orb that the Pope has. So that's my one piece of trivia outside of Star Wars for today. And yeah, basically it was inspired by Louis, King Louis back in the day. He visited the castles of Chambord and that's how it came about. So it's a recreation of a 1970s recipe. And basically what we're gonna be doing today is yeah, a French martini. So what this is, Another shaker drink, so the power of television, our shaker is now clean, so thank you. All right, let's get our jigger. We're gonna use a clean one. So use a clean one between your things just so you don't cross over your different spirits. So this one, I'm gonna do 20 mil of vodka into our jigger. Now, what we're gonna do is I thought, instead of wasting all the pineapple juice that I had left over from making our Midori Illusion, I'm actually, I'm gonna bring this right in. I'm actually gonna reuse our pineapple juice because in this time we're all stuck at home, reuse what you've got. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add in 45 ml of pineapple juice to this too. So another pineapple-y, nice little sweet one. This is quite a, yesterday the Negroni, quite a bitter drink. This is the complete opposite, nice and summery, nice and clean. Good to see you, Elise, as well, hope you're well. And then, so we've got our vodka, we've got our pineapple juice. Now we're gonna add in our Chambord. This stuff is incredible. It's just a beautiful raspberry liqueur. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in probably like 40 mil. Recipe calls for 30, but I want a little bit more of that raspberry characteristic coming through, and I want that color. And then, so put that there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake. So fill your glass, uh, your shake with ice. And what you wanna do is you wanna froth up the pineapple juice. So we're gonna get our nice little glass, I'm gonna shake again. So once again, imagine the cantina music from Star Wars in your head, and this is gonna be our dark side cocktail. All right, let's have another shake. And that should do us. So these are very simple cocktails. Gives you great color. Now this one isn't gonna be red straight away, so you need to get the gradient of color coming out.
You can double strain this if you like. Today, I just thought, keep it simple. Now, at the moment, you're thinking, oh, it's not too red. What is, what's that going to do is it's going to settle and become nice and red. So it's not as vibrant red, but I wanted to do another different cocktail today. So we're going to let that sit for a second. I'm going to have a, a, I'm going to have a wee sip, and then we're going to see the colour change over time. Oh, that's unreal. Because the cognac, um, because the Chambord's made up of raspberry liqueur, raspberries, vanilla essence, and cognac, you've got this beautiful, oh, it's like a creamy vanilla pineapple-y. That's delicious. And as you can see, we're getting that red color. So that's gonna represent our dark side. So today, yeah, it's just been a really quick little episode. Nice and sort of summing up from yesterday. So on Star Wars Day, so May the 4th, so May the 4th be with you. Tomorrow's Revenge of the 5th after the third movie. So this shows off my, my Star Wars side. So yeah, we want to recreate the cocktails for you today just so we've got it on film. Then we'll put it on our YouTube channel. And that's gonna be our things. I'm gonna have a, another bit of a taste, talk about it, ask any questions you've got. It is a Monday afternoon, so I know a lot of people are at work, but I thought, let's get this up on the channel. Hope everyone's well. Whiskey Wednesdays will be back this week. I think we might even have a special guest on there, but we'll reveal that uh, Tuesday night. Uh, Sunday sessions will be back too, and we'll be doing quite a classy Sunday sessions this week, so I'll be in my suit, and uh, there will be some martinis. So that gives you an idea of what our theme is and what our cocktails are going to be for the weekend. Good to see Tasman Adams Adventures. Good da Tasmania down there. Yeah, so ask any questions. I'm gonna go through all these once again. Might even pick my favorite. Really cool little colors today. We wanted to show off the three different colors or the main colors of Star Wars. So you've got your green lightsabers, your blue, your green for Yoda as well, and then you've got your dark side with the red. So I'm gonna go have my French martini. Didn't put a garnish in for this one. I just didn't feel like I needed one. Can, it calls for a lemon peel, but I just didn't want that today. That is really good. I would recommend, I think I made the right call of putting in a little bit more of the Chambord really gets through that, that tartness of the pineapple liqueur, uh, pineapple juice, but it brings it all together. So really beautiful. Our Blue Lagoon, this is an awesome color. It's just, you love that gradient and use a highball glass. I'm really glad these came today. It's just, <laughs> it reminds me of nightclub drinks. It's that nice, sweet, blue kind of thing. You want to be drinking on a beach. You probably want a, a nice little umbrella in there. But I actually have to think that Midori Illusion for the second day in a row, has to be my favorite. From a presentation point of view, it's just, uh, I, I'm quite proud of myself for this one. But from a taste, it actually works really well. In the next couple of weeks, we've been, um, we've been asked to make a Midori Splice. So we'll be doing that as well. This one, you could put some crushed ice in there as well. So yeah, I think that'll, I'll have one more sip and wrap that up for today. That's so cool. It's really tasty. The melons aren't overpowering, it works so well. The triple sec in there as well, that orange liqueur balances everything out so well. So I think that's probably all for me today. If you've got any final questions, ask away. Good to see lots of people in today. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, my name's Daniel Licardi, I'm the brand ambassador for Kenry Distillery. May the 4th be with you, and we'll see you on Wednesday for Whiskey Wednesday. So have a good one, and glad to see the Empire didn't pull down the rebellion today. So have a, have a great afternoon, guys. Stay safe, stay at home, and make some wonderful cocktails. Thank you. I'll take this one with me, I think.